Welcome back here at Coast BMW in Loveland as we return to the Ram Report with head coach Jim McElwain. Brian Roth back with you. We'll, we'll hear some of the post-game reactions from the players coming off that loss to the Air Force Falcons. Uh, Jim, your impressions of the guys afterwards. Uh, I know it's always hard to lose. When you lose a fourth straight, It's you kind of got to try to keep them up a little bit. Well, I, you know, I mean, the thing is, 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 you know, we did have – you know, a certain amount of guys that, that were out there just working their tails off. And uh, one of the things I really stressed afterwards is, guys, in life, what you've got to do is sometime you've got to find your heart, you've got to find your will, and give of yourself for the betterment of others. And, you know, at, at times we have some guys maybe more worried about what may be themselves and, and not the whole picture and the whole team and and it's really important that you know not one guy can go out and do it it's got to be a group a whole team a family and you know it's really important because the foundations have been set now it's a matter of really coming out and and playing for your school playing for your teammates and and that's something we'll get all right let's hear from some of those ram players as we take you back out to falcon stadium It's frustrating. We've, we've said the last two, three games now that we knew, we know we need to start fast. And I mean, they started fast, put up 21 nothing. We've come out before every game and said, you know, we need you, we need to start fast. And everybody's in the locker room hooting and hollering, you know, getting pumped up. And the coaches are. So I have to be honest, I don't know what else we can do. Wide open ball caught by Greenwood, and he's off to the races. Touchdown! I mean, he, he looked good to me. I mean, I mean, he knows the offense like the back of his hand. He knows it just as well as I do. So. I'll, I mean, I'm not worried about him leaving the team at all. The beat takes a snap. Here comes the blitz. Fires deep over the middle. Ball oh, caught. Touchdown. That's the territory that comes to being a backup. You know, you got to prepare every week like you're the starter. You know, Coach Napier's hinted at it, you know, week in and week out. If, if Garrett goes down, you know, God forbid something happens to him, I get thrown in there. You know, you just, it comes with the territory. It was pivotal in our game. We, uh, Got the offense back the ball, saying if they're gonna come and make it a seven point game, and then they turned it over. And we came back out there like, we can't stop them, and it's been, it's, we did it just before, so that was the plan to come out there, stop them again, but we wasn't able to do that, and that made it a 21 point game. We moved the ball pretty well. Uh, you know, I like that. A little bit of a spark. We made some big plays that, that can continue. Um, going forward, I need to make a little bit better decisions, you know, drive killers with the picks and stuff. And, you know, I just I gotta put my, put the team in a better better position to, to you score off. everything. We gotta stop this thing. Right now we're four straight losses. I mean we gotta stop it before it gets too bad. We can always look back and say that you want to do many things different, but all we can do now is keep our heads high and come together as a team and work even harder. A fake, big peak, unloading, going deep, looking for Greenwood, has a step, and it is caught at the ten, down to the five, down to the two. I, we made big plays. We made big plays with an explosive offense, and everybody, you know, has their chance. And I feel like everybody's starting, you know, we're turning that corner. And we're starting to realize how good of a team we can be. Again, some post-game comments from some of those Ram players. And, and you know, I, I know you don't like necessarily talking about guys that won't be on the field for you, but it's always tough to look kids in the eyes where they basically have seen their season come to an end. That might be the possibility in Garrett Grayson. And, and his senior, Zach Tejan, yeah. as well, who went down. You know, it's just, it's hard because, and you know, I talk about these seniors and I still believe in this senior class. I still believe that this senior class, you know, ha has a lot to prove and, and to leave a legacy. And, uh, you know, Zach has done an outstanding job for us this season. He's one of those seniors who is really, you know, committed to, to doing what's right. And, uh, you know, to see him go down the way he went. Uh, but, I, you know, Yet to be seen, but I think uh, he'll be back here in a, in, a, in a short while, too. Good. That's certainly good news. All right. We'll have plenty more to come here on the Ram Report with head coach Jim McElwain. We'll look ahead. Homecoming coming up next week. Look at that right here on the Ram Report.